in dungeon crawlers, the entire dungeon will be built and populated before the game begins. You will always start by placing the four-way tile in the center of your play space or table. The four-way tile does not get any monsters placed on it. The player who chose a hero first will place the four-way tile to begin building the dungeon. After that player, each person will take turns in a clockwise fashion drawing the top card from the deck and placing it anywhere they like that will connect to the current dungeon. As you see here, this is an end piece. It's a chamber with only one entrance. End chambers are boss rooms or treasure chambers. You will see this stack of cards on the side, so you will know which boss is coming up next. When you place an end chamber, the top of the boss slash treasure chamber stack gets placed into the end chamber. You do not roll the monster die for boss rooms. Next player will draw and we see here we have a nice elbow. We can place it anywhere we would like as long as it connects at least once to an existing piece. And then we will roll the monster die. This time we rolled a three. When we roll a monster die, we're going to shake up the bag and reach in blindly and grab that number of meeples. So I grab one, two, and three meeples. I drew all three level one red meeples in that room. Next player, next card. This is a starter card. You can see it's a starter card because it has heroes placed on it and also you see the dirt here which is the exit of the dungeon. There's specific placement rules for the hero starters. You have to leave the, the space behind the dirt open to place a shop at the end. So I cannot place it here in this area because there's already a boss behind it. I can, however, turn it, connect here, and this will remain open. I'll place it there. Hero starter tiles also do not populate with monsters. Now we've got a two-way. We roll for monsters. One random monster. Also red. You have a more than 50% chance of drawing level one monsters. Three way. Let's go ahead and scooch all of this back. And now we have an outer wall of our dungeon. Roll for monsters. This is a six. Now anytime you roll a five or a six, the room is a high difficulty room and actually gets its own gem for victory points. One, two, three. Four, five, six. So I've got three level ones, three level twos. Very nice. Now I'm just going to go ahead and finish building this dungeon and high speed through it. Okay, so as you can see here, there is no place left that I can put a tile. Everything is either at a wall or completely ended. Because of that, this dungeon is done even without using the remainder of the dungeon cards. And you can see we ended up with four bosses and a treasure chamber and a few little pieces here and there but only two 
of the four starter tiles. So, for this game in particular, if my players were not playing with Decal, Rajil, Arthur, or Archie, the summoner, as they were playing with any other character, those characters would begin in the four-way tile. This is why we do not populate the starting four-way tile. As soon as you reach a point where you can no longer add another dungeon tile, the dungeon build is complete and the game can begin.